week's New York Times magazine is calling into question the quality of our water. The report says that the medication, not the medication, the herbicide called atrazine that's widely used on golf courses and farms all over the United States is getting into our drinking water in increasingly dangerous amounts and our government not doing enough to warn the public. With me in the studio, Elizabeth Whelan of the American Council on Health and Science, and she says her report is not based on science and is needlessly scaring people. And in Washington, D.C., Jennifer Sass, she's a senior scientist with the National Resources Defense Council. The NRDC just released its own report questioning the safety of atrazine. And based on that, Jennifer, I'm going to start with you. This medication banned in Europe here, used a lot. Why do you think it's a concern? Dr. Nancy, it is a herbicide. It has no real economic advantage for farmers. It just increases crop yield by a few percent. That's it. We know that we could do without it. And in laboratory studies, we know that it's turning male frogs into females and interrupting hormone activity. And those same hormones are active in humans. I, Elizabeth, if you want to go to an unhealthy place for your body, a golf course is a great place to head. And now there's concern that maybe your local farm. Why do you think we shouldn't be concerned? I, I very much disagree with the New York Times story, which is really raising uh, concerns about a totally bogus risk. Atrazine has been used for more than 50 years. It's very, very tightly regulated. Even the Environmental Protection Agency, which is not known for uh, soft peddling about uh, environmental chemicals, even they say it's safe. And by the way, it is an essential agricultural chemical, particularly in producing corn in this country. But Elizabeth, so, the, 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 the Government Accountability Office has even called it to question the EPA as saying that you know 40 percent of our, our drinking water is not safe in this country in fact the EPA has a pretty lousy track record recently oh th there's just no no evidence of that whatsoever again they're very very tight standards and you know I think one of the problems here is that people don't understand that the mere ability to detect a chemical whether it's in water or food or even in human blood the mere ability to detect it does not translate into a hazard and that's what we're looking at here very 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 low levels and uh, it's nothing to be concerned about you know I'm a public health uh, professional and I know and you know we have a lot of public health concerns on our plate right now and it really bothers me very much to see uh, the New York Times front page Sunday edition featuring an article about a bogus risk and Jennifer you know Elizabeth is correct in the fact that there is no um, perfect place our water supply overall in this country quite safe and there are there are minute parts of antidepressants anti-seizure medications runoff from crops we don't live in a perfect world Dr. Nancy, you're absolutely right. The thing about atrazine, it's, it's a chemical that really we could do without if we provide farmers with safe and affordable alternatives, which are available now. And the problem with atrazine and the other things that you're naming is that they're active in our hormone systems at extremely low levels, parts per billion and parts per trillion. That's like a teaspoon in an Olympic-sized pool, and that much can be active in your body, and it can actually alter and interfere with normal reproductive development development and normal hormone activity. Jennifer Sass, Elizabeth Whelan, thank you so much. A controversial article in the New York Times. I appreciate it.